Alrighty, so this is my refit enterprise build of the AMT Ertl's kit. This is the 537 scale special edition AMT Ertl with lights and sounds. And I just got her done last night spraying the final coat of matte finish to her and overall she came out really really cool uh, really nice I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out and I did this one as the ISS Enterprise refit from the alternate universe or the mirror mirror universe and yeah so as you can see I did the add on the decals I kinda did it similar to the original series Enterprise Mirror Mirror edition where you had a decal on the top saucer section as well as on a nacelle and also on the on the side where the pinstriping is as well I did that but I did add on two more on the bottom part of the saucer section which looks pretty cool and I also did another one toward the back end of the secondary hull there as well. There is another one that goes right in front of where that warp core hatch decal is. But as you can see, because of my huge stand, I can't put place that there. So I decided to put one right back there. And then on the back toward the, the nacelle, on the original series, it was kind of toward the middle where the pylon would connect. But I decided to put mine toward the back. And I think it came out really nice. I like the way it looks. And I did a, one additional one right behind the bridge there. But yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy the way it turned out. The other big experiment with this particular kit was adding the Aztec decaling onto the incorrect existing molding lines from this particular kit. And I, overall, I'm pretty happy the way it came out. It, this gives it an additional paneling effect with the incorrect even with the incorrect moldings, you just add the Aztec decaling on top of it and this gives it an additional kind of paneling effect to it all as well. And I'm pretty happy the way it turned out. It looks really cool as the way it looks right now. But overall, pretty happy the way this kit came out. I, made, I didn't really screw anything up on her. I'm pretty happy overall. There's not too many mis um, mishaps or issues that I ran into with this particular kit. This uh, besides the of course the the decaling being incorrect, which was a a defect by A Creation Models that they that they corrected. I did talk to the owner and he did say yeah that was uh, they did not for some reason put in the correct ink colors for the ones that I got. So hopefully anyone else out there that picked these up just double check make sure. Just do like a couple of areas on your model first be and see if it's, it looks good. If it does, then you just keep on going. If it doesn't, then send them back and they'll, re they'll give you a new set of decals like they did with me. But other than that, I'm pretty happy. Like I said, this is uh, the way the, the existing incorrect molding uh, and the uh, decals on top of it came out really nice. And also, I did doing this one as a alternate universe mirror mirror enterprise thanks to MJK toys he actually gave me the idea instead of me ripping off all the decaling and all that hard work for for nothing I decided to just keep her on and do it as a alternate universe which came, turned out really nice so I'm pretty happy with that all right, let me go ahead and show you. This one does make some a uh, couple of sound effects, and it does have some loud, uh, lighting features. I'll turn the lights down so we can get a little better look. And you can see nice green and red navigation blinking lights on her, as well on the back of the nacelles with those blinking night lights as well and then also on the bottom and then a deflector dish lights up and then also the little port windows on the top and bottom of the saucer sections light up as well not really whole, not really whole bright they're not LEDs these are like I said this is I built this kit as a stock 
kits, so these are the old school light bulbs. But the bridge looks actually, it came out nice and pr it's pretty bright. And as well as on the back officer's deck area, it lights up as well. So yeah, so that's all the lighting effects. And then you get a couple of sound effects on it as well. You have phaser fire and photon torpedo. So that's a photon torpedo sound effect. So yeah, all in all, I'm pretty happy. Like I said, I had a lot of fun putting together this kit. The thing I was really worried about was like running into any issues with misaligned or walking the cells, but mines came out pretty good. So all in all, pretty happy with the way this kit came out. So. I will be doing another refit, uh, same exact scale, with the corrected A Creation model decals in the future, but that's gonna be down the line. That's gonna be further down the line, and I'm working on my Enterprise D now. So, other than that, that is pretty much it for this build of my AMT Ertl's refit Enterprise, the ISS edition or version. If you guys have any comments or questions, please let me know. Alright, thanks a lot for watching.